All right, thanks, Dave. The impact of being abused as a child doesn't stop when you grow up. Often, many survivors spend years finding ways to cope. During this Child Abuse Awareness Month, CBS 3's Emma Quinn sat down with the survivor to learn about his unique way of overcoming trauma and a resource center that wants kids to know they're not alone, especially not right now. For Duluth native David Brown, looking back on his childhood doesn't always bring fond memories. They were never evil people, they were just sick people. But that sickness hurts others. Brown says he suffered abuse at the hands of his parent, who he says also suffered from addiction. Trying to deal with whatever was going on in their guts and their heads. And uh, they, like I did, stroke, struck out at people. I was a target. Advocates like those at First Witness Advocacy Center in Duluth have made it their mission to ensure no child experiences what Brown did. Their goal is to provide support and inform the community, but COVID-19 has increased the need for child abuse support. Stress, um, lack of resources, um, sometimes uh, issues of substance abuse and issues of, of lack of family support all um, contribute to child abuse. And we know that right now it's, there is a heightened sense of stress. Even though people's daily lives have changed and children may be home with an abuser more often than before, Advocates want to remind children and the community support is still available. There are people out there that believe you and want to keep you safe. Now, after years of coping with his own abuse, Brown is one of those advocates for children being abused. He's spread awareness of the issue he's all too familiar with by writing several novels about his experience. And I knew that if I was going to help others find their truths, I had to tell mine. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a pass. I had to tell the entire truth, not just the comfortable part, all of it. He hopes his work will help others know they aren't alone. There will be days when hope is all you have left. Please know that hope is all you will need. Brown is working on his third novel and plans to be finished writing by the end of May. If you're worried about the well-being of a child, we've included resources you can call on our website, cbs3duluth.com.